Hello everyone, welcome back to another, I guess you could say another normal commentary series where literally I'm going to be editing this one again and basically we're going to do not one, not two, but three commentaries of his, or I mean rants of his. Yes, we're going to do two additional rants on top of the one that we did today. And yes, we are going to do one of the rants today. The first one we're going to be taking a look at is his rant on Donald J. Trump. You know, the former 45th president of the United States. And I'm probably going to assume this one's probably going to be horrible. So I guess sit back and enjoy the show, I guess. 3, 2, 1, let's begin. Before I start this rant, I just want to say three things. 1. My voice for my rants will be Joey from now on. 2. I just want to let you know that season 5 of my rant series is here. And 3. To anyone who likes this person, please respect my opinion, and I respect yours back. Anyways, enjoy. Donald Trump? Oh my god, this person sucks. I honestly would rather have Donald Trump back in office than honestly the current president we have now, but that's basically the political bullshit aside. But that's basically the gist of it. I'd rather have Donald J. Trump back than I would our current president because the whole administration is just a fucking joke at this point. I mean, literally, we have record high inflation with Biden. Gas prices are basically at an all-time high. But hey, at least no homophobia and shit. Actually, technically, that's kind of a lie because that's all that always happens no matter what. And technically, why do you hate Donald Trump? And technically, he just said, oh my god, this person sucks. Okay then, buddy, give me reasons why. All he is, in general, is just a fucking loudmouth. As a person, he's not that good. As a president, he was probably one of my favorites. Compared to literally Barack Obama. Which, if you like Barack Obama, I can tolerate that as actually he's one of my favorite Democrat presidents, in my own opinion. But in terms of Republicans, I'd say Donald Trump is pretty good, too. And if you don't like Donald Trump, I can at least understand that. Anyways, let's continue. This person has to be the 45th president of the United States of America. He is racist. I'm pretty fucking sure Joe Biden is infinitely more racist than Donald J. Trump. And the fact that you would say, oh, he's racist. Okay, why is he racist? If you have no reasons why, then technically Donald Trump's not racist. He never was racist. In fact, our current president literally said shit against fucking black people. So yeah, Joe Biden is more of a fucking racist than Donald J. Trump. Hands fucking down. So anyways, let's just keep going with this bullshit. He kicks out Mexicans and Koreans out of this country. You know why he kicks those people out? More than likely because they've crossed illegally, meaning not through the actual legal immigration system. That's why they're basically being kicked out. They ain't being kicked out for no reason, because they were kicked out for no reason, and you're basically kicking out a legal resident. But they're illegals. Yes, they're being kicked out, and yes, they have every reason to be kicked out. Anyways, let's keep going, because this is about as brain dead as it gets. Build big wide walls in U.S.-Mexico border. Because border security is the president's job. You know, the job of the president to basically control immigration. Like our current president's just letting them in no matter what. The president before that, Donald J. Trump, literally basically said no. And I wish it would stay that way. Anyways, let's continue. He is also the candidate in the 2020 presidential election. I hope he gets beaten by Joe Biden. Joke's on you, that's actually who's in office right now. Yep, Donald Trump lost to Joe Biden. And technically, I'll talk about the whole debacle in my own opinion. Basically, the election was very fucking unfair. Jo Donald Trump actually had everything in the bag until basically Joe Biden's votes, aka the melons, were used with dead people's ballots. And basically, if you cancel that out, Donald J. Trump would have been... a would have simply had a second term but thanks to literally them allowing the ballots of mail-in and since they had to allow mail-ins essentially that's who we have in office and yes you did correctly predict that yeah let's keep going 
To sum up the rest of the rant, basically he just says that technically he says screw Donald Trump and screw Hillary Clinton. And essentially just says our current president in office is a million times better than that. And then he basically just ends the fucking rant. So he actually hates both Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And also he said he basically doesn't say anything about anyone liking the user. I mean, you liking Donald Trump, but literally they put a bunch of videos of people hating on him. And keep in mind, they also mentioned Michael the Vion guy's video, which literally someone pointed out it was actually pretty fucking horrible, according to some people. So anyways, that rant's over. We're now moving on to Dragon Tales. Yes, we are going to basically look at his rant on Dragon Tales. And this one's probably going to be maybe a lot more worse than the Donald Trump one. At least the Donald J. Trump one actually predicted who we have in office. Which, in my own opinion, I actually despise. But if you like Joe Biden, I can accept that. As long as you basically tart whatever. But anyways, we're moving on. Let's begin the Dragon Tales rant, shall we? Dragon Tales. What? More like Dragon Fails. Solid 10 out of 10 fucking knock mock name, folks. He literally, instead of Dragon Tails, he called it Dragon Fails. I'm like, you know what? This is actually getting pretty clever. At least the beginning ain't as bad as literally the Donald Trump one. And you don't even say the more like term, which is actually pretty surprising. Anyways, let's continue to see how much of the of the shit fest will actually ensue. 3, 2, 1, let's continue. Oh my god, this show sucks. Dragon Tales actually rocks. Like, have you even seen an episode of Dragon Tales? It's actually pretty good. You ought to see it. Anyways, let's keep going. This show is about two kids named Emmy and Max, who have dragons, and they like to go on failure adventures in Dragonland. First off, buddy, the adventures they go on in Dragonland are fucking epic. More epic than this rant you're pretty much making on them. Alright. Literally, the adventures they go on in Dragonland is literally, like, fun. And you're telling me they're basically, like, failure adventures? Okay, second off, that term is so fucking overused. Like, can you come up with something else besides, They like to go on failure adventures. Like, can you think of anything fucking original for once? Besides failure adventures. Like, it's getting old and overused. Anyways, let's just keep going. Ord is a huge crybaby. Nope, I'm genuinely skipping this part because I am tired of actually hearing these typical stupid tropes. Anyways, let's keep going. I know this is off topic, but this is my opinion. And why is this show is made by Cartoon Network? It should be PBS, not Cartoon Network. The reason why in certain places it aired on Cartoon Network is because not everywhere in the whole world has basically pbs kids and you saying oh it should belong on pbs not cartoon network well first off some countries don't have pbs kids and thus they have to air it on alternate networks alternate networks such as like cartoon network and shit that's why certain episodes like air on cartoon network in other countries but certain ones air on basically disney and like pbs and other places you know what i mean Okay, let's keep going. And worst of all, at the end of every episode, they have a segment called Dragon Tunes. Dragon Tunes? No. More like stupid tunes. What's up, guys? I'm Mongaroo Ryan, and I'm here to say that my mock name is fucking bullshit. Thank God this show got canceled in 2005. And thank God this show got taken off the air in 2010. Why are you thankful a show got canceled? Literally, that's the most saddest thing that could generally happen. And technically, that's pretty fucking sad that you're like, Thank God this show got taken off the air in 2010. Thank God this show got canceled in 05. I was very distraught when this was actually taken off the air as a kid. And yeah, I actually enjoyed this show unironically when I was real little. And that's about generally it. Let's see what else ha he has in store. So screw Dragon Tales. And screw Sesame Street. P.S. If you like this show, you know the drill. Anyways, Minecraft Dungeons is 4,647 times better than Dragon Tales. End of rant. First thing, 
Did this motherfucker just say that Minecraft Dungeons is infinitely better than technically uh, Dragon Tales? You're telling me fucking Minecraft Dungeons to you is better than Dragon Tales. You realize that Minecraft Dungeons is also a kids game? And that Dragon Tales is actually geared toward kids? Yeah, I don't think he gets that part. Also, thank God the rant is over, because I think we're done. If you're going to make abominations like these, please A, stop doing them, or just B, get off the fucking internet entirely if you're generally going to make these abominations. By abominations, I mean go animate styled rants. Anyways, that's the end of the video. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh, thank you guys so much for almost 450 something subscribers. I really do appreciate that, and without any further ado, see you guys later, and as always, stay frosty.